Okay, friends, I had to make a little video. I have not been on YouTube or as active lately because so many things have happened in my life. First of all, I got into a car accident. I am grateful to say that everything's fine. My car did get totaled, but I've gone through the process of getting a brand new car, which was a journey in itself uh, during this car market. I feel so blessed with the vehicle I got, though. I really feel like God, God shows up when you have faith. Next, I'm actually moving and I'm making this video because I wanted to share something I felt like the Lord was talking to me about as I'm prepping my move. Um, yep, you're about to see the craziness everywhere. So I have been moving boxes and I was like, I'm starving. I need to cook some food, right? So I go into my kitchen. My kitchen is a hot mess express, in my opinion. And I was like, okay, I just need to clean one room at a time but I still need to cook. So then as I was going into the kit, into the fridge to get fish, I felt like the Holy Spirit started speaking to me. And I wanted to share that with you. So I went to get the fish and I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just cook in the midst of all this stuff. And I could feel the Holy Spirit speaking to me saying, Lex, you can continue moving forward in the midst of all of the chaos around you. However, there's going to come a time where you have to still address the chaos in the room. And I felt like he was addressing the emotional, the spiritual chaos that sometimes we feel. Um, how many times are we trying to just rush, rush through life, go on to the next thing, go on to the next thing, when in reality there are emotional things that we need to deal with that we are not willing to deal with. And there's a clutter a catastrophe in the midst of our hearts it's growing and growing and growing and growing it's getting messier and messier and messier in our hearts and we're still trying to navigate through life still trying to move forward cook this meal do that but as we're moving forward there's still day-to-day -day messes that we have to clean up emotionally little day-to-day -day triggers day-to-day -day experiences that we experience but we're not addressing those matters of the heart and we're thinking that we can continue to move on to the next chapter of life, like moving from the next step of what God wants to give us and moving into the next relationship and now you're gonna get into the next chapter of life and getting married and now we're gonna add kids. When we haven't dealt with the drama, with the trauma, the drama and the trauma and the mess of what reality has brought us from before this new chapter. And I feel like, this is for me, but I wanted to share with you all. I feel like the Lord was just really speaking to me about like Lex, baby girl, in order for us, in order for you to really reach the fullness, to appreciate that fish, to appreciate, I hope you're, you're following me here, to appreciate the chapter in which I want to give you. We got to clean up the mess of the things that you have not dealt with, honey, because all those things are cluttering and kind of clouding the judgment and stopping you from seeing clearly and walking in peace and freedom. And I wanted to share that, are you walking in peace and freedom today? Have you dealt with the emotional clutter that has been built up in your chest? I'll be honest, I'm in that process right now, decluttering my heart, decluttering trauma and triggers. And it's funny because scripture talks about that to protect, guard your heart because everything flows from it. So if your heart is a mess and in conflict because of all these things that have been piled up, we got to clean that up because everything flows from it. And I'm not just speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself because the Lord has been working on that in me. But next, in addition, scripture talks about how God wants to take us from glory to glory as I'm packing and putting things away. I'm like grieving certain things that I love. I'm like, do I really want to part ways with this sofa? Do I really want to part ways with these pillows? Do I really, it sounds silly, but really, do I want to part ways with these books? Like I'm having an emotional connection to some of the things that I don't want to part ways with. Um, and some of those things I just have to let go and I can hear and feel the Lord just being like, I want to take you from glory to glory, glory to glory. So if this is good, I'm going to get you an even cuter pink sofa. If this is good, I'm going to get you an even greater desire of your heart. I know the desires of your heart, but you must trust me with what I'm asking you to give up. And so as I'm packing, as I'm cleaning, I had to just get on here really quick to make a quick video and send it your way because someone needs to hear this encouragement. That if you're in your life and you are having difficulty parting ways and you're grieving things that you know God has asked you to let go, I'm right here with you. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's hard for me too, but we just have to walk in faith because the alternative is holding on to stuff, letting the clutter continue to pile up and you're trying to cook fish in the middle of a messy kitchen.
You're trying to move into the next relationship without dealing with the past relationship, without healing from that wound. Wounds uh, from all those other relationships you didn't clean up. And so God wants to help us clean up what's happening in our souls and our spirits to get to a place where we can receive the next chapter in life. And sometimes he's not giving us the next step because, honey, we haven't done the work to clear the space to appreciate the new thing coming in the house. That's my little sermon today. I just had to share that as I'm over here cleaning, packing away. Um, I'm struggling, y'all. I'm struggling to part ways with things that have brought me comfort or joy. But I know I have to make space for what God wants to do that's new in my life. And I'm speaking on that physically, like with physical items, but emotionally as well. Emotionally as well. Part of maturing and processing, part of refining, part of burning off things that don't belong. I was really encouraged today because I was working on something with some creatives, which I'm going to be excited to share. We're working on a song. Um, I do spoken word poetry and I have been asking God, like, it'd be awesome to transition poetry into music. And he's just so sweet. So he gave me opportunity. And today we got something done in four hours and it was amazing. But, um, it was incredible. It was, ugh, the Holy Spirit was moving. But one of the guys in the room was sharing with me that the Lord had asked him to get rid of some friendships and how hard it was. But the, the minute he kind of cut that, that he stepped deeper into what God called him to do. I'm going to pray into that right now for anybody that's listening because that's what's being worked on in me. So yeah, just bow your heads if you're with me or this is for you. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, hi, Daddy God, how are you? <laughs> Thank you, God, for being in our lives. Thank you for caring about us. Thank you for being so relational that you want to hear from us that it brings you joy to hear from us that you are the creator of the universe you are so magnificent and so large but you care about us god i pray for the strength to let go of things that do not belong to let go of things that have served us well in one chapter in the next season but become dead weight in the next season god give us peace that surpasses understanding Right now, we ask and seek your wisdom and your guidance on how to navigate through the next chapter, how to determine what needs to go and what needs to stay. Daddy, I ask for your peace. I ask for your comfort. I ask God for your wisdom. I ask God for your strength and your ability to, to cut things off, but also to trust you, God. I pray for miraculous healing and emotional wounds, relational wounds, God, traumas from family, God, traumas in your adult life, God, of situations and experience that were never, they were unimaginable, God. Pray that would happen supernaturally through this video, but also, God, within each and every single um, person who's in our circle, who's at home, who's near and dear to us, God, just because we're requesting it and because you're supernatural like that. Help us remove the clutter and make space for the things you have for us. Help us to trust you as we grieve what must go. Help us to have joy and overflowing thoughts about what is to come. And help us to walk in faith as we trust you and believe in you and your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Toodles. <laughs>